You're a new grad working as a consultant who has like five side hustles. How do you do it all while still having fun? I'm Amy and that workaholic is me. I have this long to-do list today and I can't watch my favorite movie without finishing every single item. Can I do it? I just can't look into his eyes. Yay, you guys asked me to do more day in the life because you want to know more about me, which makes me so happy. Thanks Aww. for caring. Let's go through a day in a busy work life. We're gonna keep it relatively raw. I toasted my bread, but I am now here editing a couple videos for Level All, which is a platform that's helping students of all demographics, all socioeconomic status, gain access to materials about how to navigate the college admissions process. I'm super excited about this. In addition to creating free resources like this, I also tutor on the side. You'll see later today why this contraption is here. Sean just scolded me for starting to work before eating breakfast. He's going to 99 Ranch now to buy dumplings. These dumplings. <laughs> I went to bed around 12.30 a.m. And that might not seem late to you, but it was staying up working. My lips always feel a little itchy after eating peanut butter, but too delicious, so gotta risk it for the biscuit. I actually have a check-in meeting with a co-worker in like five minutes. This is the beauty of work from home. Be dressed in PJ pants. <laughs> Come with me to my office. Voila. Someone commented that I have a lot of monitors. You are not wrong. Join the meeting, meeting. Hi, how are you? I know, I'm so excited. As a consultant, sometimes you get beach time where you're on the beach. And that basically means that you're not staffed on a project slash engagement at the moment. The staffing is at the mercy, I guess, of clients, the partners, and who they decide to staff on what projects. So sometimes you get very nice chiller time. We are a relatively smaller firm that has startup vibes. The reason they created this firm is because they wanted to make it more travel light. And you think that travel is kind of glamorous about consulting, but it's actually, the not a lot of time and energy and away from your loved ones as well. Because of the startup vibe, we have what are called operating priorities. Pretty cool stuff. And I'm on two of them. Branding, it's like helping with the website, other materials for the firm. When can you say you're really impacting the brand of an entire company? And then the second one is social team. But first, let me take a selfie. But first, let me take a selfie. Do you guys remember that? I think of that every time I say but first in my mind before I do my work stuff. I'm going to finish editing the two videos because I need to get them over to level all. Just finished the first one. Let's edit the second video. <laughs> finished editing video numero dos. Out of today's pursuits, we have checked one off the list. Next, I'm going to upload a short. This probably feels weird that it's a work day and I don't seem to be doing a lot of my work. My main job, a friend from Caltech who works at Bain, who was on the beach, he literally went to the beach every day. You really learn to enjoy beach time. And in my case, ow. And in my case of enjoying beach time, I do my videos, tutor, other things. That's my way of having fun. I don't know. <laughs> It's strange that, you know, in these videos, day in the life of working that people so love to show. It's pretty boring if you think about it. You're just watching someone doo -doo -doo, type on their laptop. That's why I hope to talk more to you today, to explain through all the things I do. Very excited for you to get to know me a little bit more outside of, you know, the girl who got rejected from Stanford. Cooler than the girl who got into Stanford though. I must say there are not that many people who got rejected here on YouTube. <laughs> Spicy. 
through these little snippets, you can see what goes on inside my brain. And hopefully that inspires you to realize how great you are with your potential and how you can realize your potential and think more positively about the world and ultimately improve your life. YouTube short is all uploaded. So that's another check for the day. I don't think I'm very smart. I just put on an eczema relief lotion. Now I can't put this tea into this tea bag because I have to touch it with my bare hands. Pour this directly. Ooh. Oh gosh, it's like... Okay, ouch. <laughs> I love David's tea because they have amazing, different, special, unique, adventurous flavors. It's not sponsored. Oh, that would be so cool if they sponsor me in the future. But anyway, this is Queen of Tarts. It makes a fun looking drink, I'll tell you that. It's gonna get even deeper red. It's gonna look like red wine. The leaves are sinking. That's good. Let's see if I still got it. <laughs> the aerodynamics on that one, obviously, were not good. Third time's a charm. Hey! Embarrassing, embarrassing. Oh, and I used to be a shooting guard. I think I stay very close to my Asian roots and the habits that my mom has taught me. So I love drinking warm water throughout the day. Cold water is not on my menu. <laughs> And while I wait for my tea to become cool enough so I can put it in my mouth, I phrase that in the most weird way possible. Number four on today's agenda, some actual work for my job. <laughs> Just got another meeting that popped up on our calendar. I'll have that around 3.30. Hey Google, play music. Okay, music on Spotify. Here you go. Oops. You back? Hello. What did you get? Food. Wow. Whoa. For the dumplings. What else? What else? Chicken. Chicken. With the head. Oh my geez. <laughs> you can have the honor of cutting no, the head have, off. Last time I did. This time you can have the honor. My favorite dumplings. Pork and green onion. Highly recommend. Huh? Beef, pork, and green onion. Whoa, that's scam. Cause the Chinese only says beef, but the English says beef and pork. <gasps> Ingredients is pork. Wow. Wait a damn minute. Wait, what? That makes no sense. Yeah, before the Chinese people. Last but not least, pork and cilantro. Ah, oh, I love cilantro. Highly recommend. <laughs> 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 Going back to work, but first, let me take a selfie. Here is my desk setup. As you can see, it's very, very messy. I hope this dispels that myth on the internet where all productive people have super nice and neat desks. <laughs> finished the social team tasks for today. I'm just going to 
stretch a little bit. I stretch in the morning too, but my back always feels so tight. I've also responded to a few emails and I got an email from a consultancy that I help tutor ACT SAT for. They have many success stories for the college applicants so far this year. That was super exciting to hear. And on other good news, my contact from Level All approved the two videos I just made this morning. Honestly, feeling a little concerned I won't get through all of my big tasks for today. I probably won't work out today. I lifted yesterday. It's okay, I'm gonna try to be efficient. So let's move on to the next work for my main job task, which is looking at stock photos for the website. I am super hungry. Let me show you what I've done today so far. Pretty simple stuff actually. I just put them all into PowerPoint with the prices. Sock photos are actually pretty expensive. We are in this program quite a lot. We're also in Excel a lot and this is what I use to do the social calendar stuff. Today's lunch is chicken and rice. Sean is taking a nap now. I was looking at this long list of things I need to do today. One might wonder, you might wonder, I wonder sometimes too, why I do all these things. Like why do I keep myself so busy? What is my purpose? I think it's because I find the things I do outside of my main job to be more fulfilling and I want to feel like I'm making, and hopefully I'm making a positive impact somewhere to someone. I care about education and sharing my experiences because I feel like if more kids are aware of things and they have good education and resources then it's just gonna make society better overall. A lot of problems with social media nowadays and it's ironic because I'm making content on social media. So what is my purpose? It sounds lofty but it's just to like do more with me, my life, than in my job. You know I feel replaceable. It's not to say that there's anything wrong with just having a regular nine to five, even though consulting is not nine to five, but I just feel like I want to do something more. And I'm so happy when I help people like you. I've seen your guys' comments and messages about the effort I'm putting in being something you're really grateful for. And I'm grateful to see that feedback. But at the same time, I'm super, super busy because I'm trying to do this consulting job, plus many things on the side. I'm just not brave enough to leave this job on my life another email. I've been following this structure, this path laid out to me, like grinding super hard in high school, grinding super hard in college. Now that I have this job and career, where can I stand out and like do something that only I can do where I'm helping more? And I think that's where creativity and making my ideas reality comes in and is so great. I guess I constantly feel like time is just slipping away. That's not the best mindset. I need to live more in the moment. That's why I just pack my days doing things that I do genuinely enjoy right but it's sometimes a little too much it's productive it's fulfilling I see results but sometimes I wonder like what if I just picked one thing to go head on what kind of results would I see then but I don't know what that thing is and I'm afraid to you know drop the other things in case I guess you could say that I have a purpose and I'm working really hard such that it seems like I know what I want but the thing is I'm actually lost in what I want to do like I want to focus on one thing but I cannot and so while navigating how lost I am and trying to find that thing instead of just like I guess sitting and feeling like I can't take a next step I'm just taking a bunch of different steps and hoping that will lead me somewhere it's a term I learned recently a bias toward action and as I mentioned in my career video I definitely recommend trying something at least it's not too many things like me <laughs> I should eat see you on the flip side Yes, I agree. That's very good. Mm. Coconut milk. Mm. Highly recommend. Put it on the screen here. Oh man, why did I only eat chicken and rice today? Mmm, juicy. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
that one had way too much sauce on it. Very good, very, very good. <laughs> it goes on. That one looks better. Oh, we have... Mikuk Sarome. Mikuk Sarome. No! Chinguk Sarome. Chosen. Chosen Sarome. Hello. Hi, Hannah. That's like the cruise ship what would that be? Good, how are you? Now I'm going to a Zoom with one of my subscribers for the first time. Thanks so much for your message. It was very kind and happy to help in any way I can. One of the keys to happiness, I think I saw in a TED talk, is not money, but it's about your social circles, that kind of connection. If you combine the grades and socializing part, it's a lot happier. <laughs> as far as motivation outside of school, how I stay motivated when I don't have to, <laughs> I just feel like life is so short. For any time you have, I don't want to have any regrets about what I do. If I like have a full day, one day, in the grand scheme of things, those days add up to your life and then eventually your years and then your youth so i feel like if i were to look back at what i did now i want to know that i used that time to do something that either helped me help someone else or to grow or create something that then is like tangible and i could see that like it happened i think of productive is not just like doing a bunch of busy work but it's to like produce that's the root of the word if you default to like watching something or surfing the web like it's pretty fun to escape for a while right because you're like i don't want to do this like no one really wants to work but the difference between those who get what they want done and those who don't is that the people who get what they want done will take the discomfort like they know it's uncomfortable but they're gonna do it anyway i procrastinate too but if you have to do something eventually why not just do it now instead of treating myself now to a youtube video if i get that thing done i'm gonna be less stressed and then i'll potentially have something more fun to do than watching the youtube video it's definitely helping a lot of people like i would have loved to know some of the things that you say in those videos this is angela she's an awesome subscriber hello we're going to make chicken soup what what's so you? special about this chicken soup this chicken still has the head on it mm. oh why why are you zooming in so much <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna blur this part out because this might be disturbing to some people. Trigger alert. But I'm not like censoring it like it's a political correctness thing. I'm censoring more because like honestly I wouldn't like to see this. I don't even like seeing this. You guys are going to be protected from seeing the chicken head. But unfortunately, Sean bought this chicken with a chicken head. Well, no, 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 because the store doesn't have any chicken without the head. Yeah, so it's my job. So I just pull it out. Yes. Take the chicken. <laughs> Oh, that's very disturbing. Ah, oh, yeah, that's so long. Put the rest of the body on the chopping block. The yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, perfect. Now you're an expert. You know how to blur it out. Okay, get the get the cho chopping. Oh, my, this hand is dirty now. No, rinse it. It's moments like these where I feel guilty for not being a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. What about those vegetables life when you cook them? When you pull them out of their motherland, aka soil, you don't feel guilty? Are you okay? You gotta be careful, okay? Hold it, yes. Good. I think we have time to watch my favorite movie today, Avatar. Okay. Why are you all of a sudden divert the topic to Avatar? Because in Avatar, they say some Oh words. yeah, yeah, yeah. When you kill a life. I apologize. Thank no. you for your sacrifice. No, yeah, yeah. Don't apologize. Thank you. Your body goes to my body. It's kind of weird. Cut it like this. When you were sliding back and forth, that ain't gonna cut it. That ain't, ain't gonna, gonna cut, cut it. it. Ah, oh. I'm so good. Oh, 
I just thought a little bit too hard about the chicken for a second. Got really, really sad. I just can't look into its eyes. I need to peel off the skin. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, Amy is weird. Uh, yeah, you're so healthier, healthier. Do you need to blur out this part too? No, nah, I think this is okay. Because oh, this is okay. You're skinning someone. But when people cook, they show this. You know? Is that right? Oh, look at that. Sean loves my vlogging days because I do the work while he gets to sit back and film me. <laughs> So you would think Amy usually does these, but contrary to popular belief, these are the only days Amy does any work, <laughs> productive or useful work. Look, look at those, what are those? I know. What are those? What are those? I look like a scrub. Please do not use that word. Bring more positive energy to you. Ah! Just kidding. Oh, you're my shots. <laughs> Bro, can you not? Sorry. Yo, you're playing too much. Sorry. Bro. I thought I sounded very fake. <laughs> Yo, it sounded real for a second. Done? The chicken is in the pot. And it's boiling. Soon I will... What I meant to say in that last clip was scrape off the foam. <laughs> Drop in these mushy rooms. Oh boy. Shango. As we're waiting for our chicken soup to boil, I am going to eat my biotin, which I typically take before dinner. Oh no! So many bad things went wrong in this video. Because my hair has not been as thick as it's been before. Hopefully this guy helps. We're going to now see what I use this for. Let me show you first, see if you can guess. which means here to look at factory. And minus three plus two will give this coefficient of minus one. Did you guess it? Yes, indeed, it is math. I am teaching math via YouTube shorts slash TikTok. I really miss math, said no one ever. I just want to teach the mathlete mindset I have to more students because I feel like a key problem in the school system nowadays, which actually I noticed when I was in high school too, is that math teachers are not teaching problem solving skills. They're just teaching memorization. And that's why kids' foundations in math are so poor. It's not really the kids' fault, honestly. That's why so many people struggle on the ACT and SAT math. I don't know who on TikTok or YouTube Shorts will watch these math. It's actually a lot more fun than people think. Let's update the checklist. I think I can finish everything today and watch the movie. some comments flavorful umami flavor umami flavor of the mushroom subtle hint of flavor from the ginger with the nice meat of the chicken <laughs> pro tip put whole cloves of garlic in there peeled of course throwback to when i ate a raw clove of garlic for lunch and they're very delicious no one in the history mm. does that <laughs> yay now we get to watch avatar <laughs> Thanks for spending the day with me!